We need to have a talk, Janice. We get a lot of complaints about you. What kind of complaints? She seems distracted and disinterested, and her head's in the clouds. So what you're saying is... You're fired. That's what I'm actually saying. I'm having a hard time right now, Jill. I just need a place to stay for a while. We're on your team. Your team, Janice. A team that pays their bills. Why'd you choose to start doing this uh, robot thing? I feel like modern life can be alienating. It can be like you're mindlessly walking through it like a robot. I guess I just want people to know that they're not crazy. I mean, life is crazy, right? Good morning, Janice. Well, how about concessions? If you're desperate, I can give you that. I am desperate. You work here? Miserable human being. What? That's what they call this exhibit. I want you to meet someone. What? Hi, I'm Doug Duncan. Don't be vegetation, try conversation. What do you do? <laughs> I don't really know how to answer. I'm an author. <laughs> oh, OK. We should hang out. Who? You and me. OK, yeah, sure. She hasn't had that much experience with guys. Right, Dennis? What? Are you listening? Not really. You're 30-something. You got no real future to speak of. You're all silver. When I want something, bang. I want to kiss you. Janice, hey. Uh, Doug, this is my friend Tim. What's up, bro? Cool hat. Thanks, bro. Are you dating the winning conversations guy? No. For once in your life, just take yourself seriously, all right? Your life is upside down. It's in shambles. You know, there's a chapter in my book on positive thinking. Doug, stop trying so hard. Ouch, Janice. You want it, <laughs> Touchdown! <laughs> it only takes just one person to make you feel like you belong. I have no clue what I'm doing. Neither do I. 